Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and we're continuing on with the 2013 AP Calculus exam. And so here we're looking at number five. Let f of x equals 2x squared minus 6x plus 4, and g of x equals that. Let r be the region bound by the graphs f of g and shown above. Find the area of r. Well, again, I'm making little rectangles here. And I do top minus the bottom. Which one's the top? Um, this is cosine. The cosine looks like this shape, right? Kind of, you stop. So this is x. So I'm going to do g of x minus f of x. So a, oops, down here. I'm going to do the area from 0 to 2. From x equals 0 to 2. I'm going to add up the area of these rectangles. What are the height of the rectangles? It's uh, g of x minus f of x dx. Okay. That's the integral 0 to 2, 4 cosine 1 fourth pi x minus 2x squared minus 6x plus 4. I can distribute the negative sign and put a negative here, make that positive, make that negative. So let's do the integral of each one at a time. Um, this one, the integral cosine is always sine. But, but because it like kind of backwards chain rule, or if you want to think, I got to divide by 1 fourth pi. And that, when I take the derivative of this, I'd get that, right? Minus um, 2 thirds x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x from 0 to 2. This is 16 over pi. Sine of, let's see, um, pi over 2. If I plug in 2, it's pi over 2. That's 1. Sine of 0, 0. Minus 2 thirds 2 cubed plus 3 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2. And I ignore the zero because um, when I plug in zero, I just get zero there. So there you go, 16 over pi. 8 16, 16 over 3 plus 12 minus 8. That's taking a lot of space. Uh, that's 4. This is positive 4. Positive 4 is 12 over 16. 12 over 16 minus 16 over 13 is minus 4. So 16 over pi minus 4 over 3. I think I did that right, but it's possible I did the arithmetic wrong. Write but do not evaluate an integral expression gives the volume of the solid generated when r is rotated around the, the horizontal line y equals 4. So this line right here. So for b, Um, y equals 4, this line. I'm going to have to look at um, the when I revolve it around that point. It's always going to be, uh, it's going to make little disks. If I take a look at like this slice here, for example, when I revolve it, it's going to make a disk. And the way I do it is I do the area of the disk is the outer radius minus the inner radius. Now, the outer radius is going to be um, 4 minus this value, right? And just to be clear, this is f and this is g. So f is this value here, and, and 4 is like the whole length. So 4 minus f is going to give me that distance. So it's 4 minus f of x. The inner radius is going to be 4 minus g of x. The area of the disk is pi big R squared minus pi little uh, pi little R squared. Okay. And then times the thickness, I'm integrating over x because my little when I make this little slice, the the width part that's really tiny, the infinitesimal width is dx. So I'm gonna and then I'm gonna integrate this from zero to two. 
So this is the integral from 0 to 2, pi times 4 minus um, 2x squared minus 6x plus 4 squared. Oh wait, all, all of that squared minus um, 4 minus 4 cosine 1 fourth pi x squared. Nope. Uh, put a bracket there. dx. Okay, so that's that's b. C is the region R is the base of a solid. For this solid, each cross section of perpendicular x axis is a square. So now instead of the area being the disk, the area is going to be the square. And the area of the square is going to be um, f of x, no, g of x minus f of x. That's the length of one side of the square, like this height of this rectangle right here. And then square would be the area of the square dx. And I'm going to integrate this from 0 to 2. OK, and, and just, just plug in g and f, right? And that would be that would be enough. That would give you the volume. OK, so that was easy enough. So let's look at the scoring solutions. Uh, 16 over pi minus 4 thirds, excellent. Volume is all of this. It's 4 minus f of x squared, 4 minus 4 minus g of x squared. Is that what I did? 4 minus f of x, 4 minus g of x, good. And then this one, if I had filled it in, g of x minus f of x squared. Add that part. Okay. Um, good. So, doing good on this one. So, that completes the fifth question. And I'll see you in the next video when we do the last question of the calculus exam. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content. And see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.